come to the third commandment today in Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. Not very long, but I hope very convicting. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you, your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant, or your livestock who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. The Third Commandment Remember to keep the Sabbath day holy. What do you do on Sundays? 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 Go to the mall? Hang out with friends? Stay at home and bum around? Observe family day? Or attend mass? The Sabbath is for the Lord and is set apart for the praise of God. According to Mark chapter 2, verse 27, Jesus clearly explained that Sabbath is for man and not man for the Sabbath. Works permitted on Sundays and holidays of obligations are Servile work which is necessary, especially works of mercy. Occupations of an intellectual nature. Light and trifling work. <laughs> Something very reasonable. Sins against the third commandment. Requiring others to perform servile works. According to Exodus chapter 10 verse 10, the Christian allows his servant to rest on Sundays. By carelessness in public worship. Indulging in diversions which are over fatiguing or which are sinful nature. According to St. Augustine, it is better to indulge in fieldwork rather than indulge in vices. Very cool. According to Genesis chapter 2, verse 3, God did not simply rest on the seventh day. God sanctified and hallowed that day. According to Exodus chapter 20, verse 10, the command to sanctify the Sabbath day is given to Jews only. The Apostles appointed Sunday as rest day because Christ rose from the dead on Sunday. Christians are obliged from servile work on Sundays and to assist at the public Mass. The Explanation of Sabbath The Eucharist is celebrated way back in the early church on Sunday. Acts chapter 20 verse 7 On the first day of the week when we group together and break bread. Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 10 to 12 says the Lord gave the Sabbath to the people in the desert after their exodus from Egypt not immediately after creation's work. According to Exodus chapter 35 verse 1 to 3, Sabbath commandment there was no mention of any calendar system only a cycle of six days work and one day rest. The Six Ordinance of the Church Rest from work on Sunday and holidays of obligation to give thanks to God for special graces. Fasting and abstinence are to be observed to Ash Wednesday or Good Friday. Confess our sins at least once a year. Support the priest and know to mix marriage and to solemnize marriage in forbidden times. The Third Commandment is about sanctification and relationship. God starts off the third commandment with the word remember. This is because He knew we would forget it. God asks that we keep it set apart for holy purposes so we can draw near to Him. 
The third commandment to remember the Sabbath concludes the section of the Ten Commandments that specifically helps define a proper relationship with God, how we are to love, worship, and relate to Him. It explains why and when we need to take special time to draw closer to our Creator. It is also a special sign between us and God forever that it is Him that sanctifies us, Him alone we belong to and worship. The Sabbath, the seventh day of the week, was set apart by God as a time of rest and spiritual rejuvenation. So why is this commandment so frequently ignored, attacked, and explained away by so many? Could it be because the challenges to the Sabbath commandment are views generated by the ruler of this present evil world? After all, it's just one day of the week that God wants us to remember Him, so why not do it?